Let's play. Darren! Oh, Darren! Yeah, that's me. HMMM. Pressure dropping. Humidity rising. Over 80% increasing winds. What do they actually mean? Here we are. Chapter 2. So your pressure is dropping. Oh. My. God. A hurricane. This can't be. Pipster, wake up. Nina just told me a hurricane is coming. Huh. Whoa. What? What's going on? A hurricane. Oh no! I've experienced too many hurricanes already. This is Taylor Branford with a 41 Action News Weather Bulletin. The National Weather Service in East Chaseville has issued a hurricane local statement for Hurricane Richard. According to TVCTA Operations Twitter profile, CEO Serena Murphy posted all tweets regarding TVCTA Operations' three phases of Hurricane Richard cancellations, except for the maroon and turquoise subway lines which operate underground from 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. on a daily basis. If you think about naming a storm after a previous troublemaker, you obviously have never seen the pals grabbing a few items at a clearance sale. Darren, did you hear that? Hurricane Richard is upon us. Let's go ahead and pick up some supplies. Well, there's so little left. Green deals. Corn nog. Wadded beef? Ellie, Angela, and Bodie. Let's just grab what we all can and get the bloody hell out of here. This storm is making people crazy. Hello. This is Superintendent Melanie Jefferson here with some information regarding Hurricane Richard. We here at Chaseville Santa Angela Public Schools have been continuing to monitor the progress of Hurricane Richard. The latest reports show impacts from the storm affecting the Chaseville Santa Angela metropolitan area overnight Thursday and through the day on Friday. Based on this updated information, Chaseville Santa Angela Public Schools will have a remote learning day for students on Friday, September 30th. All after-school activities will be cancelled for that evening. Unless notified by their supervisor, Chaseville Santa Angela Public School staff will have an optional workday on Friday, September 30th whenever possible. We will continue monitoring weather conditions and notification will be made if further decisions are necessary. Thank you for your support. This is Melanie Jefferson, Chaseville Santa Angela Public School Superintendent, signing off. Thank you very much and stay safe. My oh my, this hurricane is getting tense. Lucky we made it on time. A few minutes later. Oh my goodness. We are one lucky extended family. A blackout didn't happen to us at all. Lucky for us. We have experienced rough seas, even when we aren't on any vessel. And it's dying down as we speak. But we can't say the same for Dectonian, Mr. Dave Matson, and my friend Ariel Dumas as well as my other friend Marlon Burton. Why is that, Darren dear? Dectonian's entire house got hit by the hurricane, while the hurricane waters entered Dave's, Marlin's, and Ariel's houses, flooding them, along with Ariel's basement, in the process. A few minutes later. Ariel, what happened? My basement got flooded and now the entire basement is a mess. Don't worry, I'll help you sort it out. Well, at least I'm documenting my loss and sending this to Astro, Miss M, Jenny, Ashley, Avalo, Breeze, Lindsay, Tootie, Harry, Terry, Rhonda, Wanda, and the rest of the people I know on social media, including Twitter. Marlin, what happened? Everything in my bathroom is a mess after the hurricane waters flooded every single corner and my entire bathroom is all ruined. I should have called a contractor ahead of time. 
Not to worry, I'll help you sort it out as fast as we can. Well, at least a hotel room is better than that flooded house. I do not want to get wet ever again. The hurricane's over, but hopefully, on Sunday of this weekend, it'll be successfully over. Ellie called a contractor, and he said that there is no damage to our house. Now we can resume our regular operations as an extended family. Pretty much, 